after watching last week's episode, I I really gotta talk about it. I really gotta talk about it. after watching Sunday's episode of Rezio, I really gotta give you guys my true, honest thoughts and opinion. Like I gotta I gotta really spill it out. And I'll do that in the end of this season too, but I really just I've said it before. What is what is the most important thing of an anime and literature? It's not it's it's not the plot. It's not the, uh, the plot is very 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 important, but it's 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 not the plot. I'd say the plot's probably the second most important thing. What is it? Just just think about it for a second. What is it? What makes you like a show? What makes you really like a show and makes you care for a show? What wouldn't make you care for a show if you didn't like them? It's the characters. The characters are the most important thing in any series, anime, specifically. It, they are the most important thing. The plot is second, and I will stick to that. Because if you don't like the characters, then who gives a shit what the plot is? You're not going to stick around and watch it. I mean, are you? And if you are, that's, that's kind of odd. I mean, unless you be, like being around people you don't, you dislike. Now, for like Beltigus and Rezio, for example. Why do we like Belt? Well, kind of hate Beltigus, but why do we like him so much? Why do we actually want him on the screen? Because the impact it puts on these other people characters and impact it puts on the plot so characterization character development are by far the most most important thing in the anime and why is Rizio so good though what it, what does it do that's right that's so right well it does it knows how to pace itself it doesn't want to progress the plot every episode it, it just it doesn't do that have you guys seen Sarah for the Sarah for the end by, by chance, I've seen it and I like it. But what's his biggest issue? It literally has plot progression every episode. Too much of it. Too much of it. It just need. It just needs a little bit. A little bit. And so, what's what's wrong with Sarah for the end? It has too much plot progression every, every episode. What's wrong with it? It's way too fast paced. It's it's terribly fast paced. It's I it's to the point where we really we we know a little bit, but we we don't know anything about our characters. We don't know What do you know about Shinoa? What do we really know about Mikola? What do we really know about you? We know a little bit. We know there's there's Seraphim, those two. We know you was in a building with potential Seraphim, I believe it was. But we don't know much about them. And, well, knowing stuff about Rezio characters, that's, I don't have to go into that. You guys already know. The, sto the, <laughs> the writer explained that perfectly. He explained that perfectly. The only one we really don't know about is, like, Rosewall and uh, Amelia. But it's supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be that way. And that's why Rezio is so good. Because it knows what to do when it's writing a story. The writer knew what he was doing. He knew how to make the characters likable. He knew to pace the plot. And if you don't believe me on that, and you're thinking that that's that's not true, well, then why why did the light novels sell over seventy seven thousand copies just the other week? Why did it, why is it sold over ten thousand Blu ray disc and DVD disc? You know, five thousand is pretty good. Five thousand is about it's it's pretty decent. Six thousand to seven thousand is supposed to be good. It's supposed to be pretty good. Ten thousand is really good. If you get ten thousand, you've done your job. The numbers don't lie. Everyone's always looking for that next next piece of good literature. Rezero's really set itself up, guys. It's really set itself up to a point where if maybe there's some you don't like and so far Subaru has died so you're like maybe something I wish that could have ended up different maybe I wish I could see a different path for that well it gives you uh, it keeps giving you that two-way perspective 
and sometimes it gives you a perspective where it's like, wow, I, I, I never saw it coming. I like it better that way than what I thought I you know could like it. If, if Subaru did that or this, I like it the way it did it that way. It's always set itself up for another perspective. I mean, once you're so invested with these characters, you're so invested, you are so invested into these characters, such as Subaru and Reem, then, I mean, that last episode, that is the reason, <laughs> that is the reason, that dialogue, that, that 20 minutes of staying there and talking, but still being one of the best episodes of anime I've ever seen, personally. And that's all I'm hearing. That's all I'm hearing, really. That's all I'm hearing. And that's impressive. That's impressive. That's the best episode of ReZero. That's the best episode of ReZero. It really is. If you if you have been paying attention to what the writer's trying to tell you and deliver, that's the best episode of ReZero. <laughs> that's the best episode of ReZero. You know why else? Because it actually did have plot. It did have plot progression. It really did. We find out who Gluttony was. We find out that Puck, his contract states he was supposed to end the world if Amelia dies. We found out the witch has over a thousand hands. Technically, half. A thousand hands is half the amount of unforeseen hands the witch has. She has two thousand hands. ReZero, if, if you guys have stayed for this long in a video, subscribers, let me, let me know your reaction to this down in the comments below, if, you, if my subscribers, because if you, you've asked me what, what my favorite anime is, but not only is this the best first 18 episodes I've ever seen, it's the best anime I've ever seen. Honestly, and there's an anime I really, I'm really passionate. And my subscribers, you know, I'm really passionate about fairy tale. You, you know, I like it for what it is. I really, really do. And it's nothing like ReZero. ReZero's plot, the plot twist, the way it makes you think, it's not near as simplistic as fairy tale. It's not. It, it really isn't. And I don't even like saying that, but it's true. Fairy tale's entertainment. This is entertainment, and it, it's psychological. I mean, it's in the title. It's, it's in the genre titles. It's in the tags. But this is also the best anime I've ever seen, once again. And at the same time, this is probably the best anime I'm going to see for for a long time. And that is why ReZero is my favorite anime. It's I can't I can't disregard what it's done. Once again, that's why it sold 77,000 copies in one week. It sold over 100,000. You know how many copies ReZero printed out? It printed... Right when it begun, right when the anime hit, because anime makes merchandise. Anime usually don't make people money. The merchandise does. Because it's like, oh, this anime's badass. I love this anime. I need to merchandise from it. And that's why they printed out a million copies before. Right right, right when the anime is about to hit. You know, it, it, they made sure they had a million copies. <laughs> they made sure they had a million copies. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. And that's why it sold over 10,000 DVDs and Blu-ray disc. And it's not even, it's technically you can only buy it in Japan right now, from Japan right now. It's not, the, the actual Blu-ray disc, these are pre-orders I'm pretty sure, or volume orders. I'm not, I'm not really sure how they do it in Japan, Japan. It hasn't even hit other places. Rizio hasn't even been licensed. This, I mean, I was wondering, I was like, wow, this is really good. I started watching ReZero. This is really good. And then, you know what I did? About episode four, whenever we Subaru wakes wakes up and he's dead, and I'm like, this anime is the real deal. This anime is serious. This anime is not pulling no punches. It's, it's going all out. And then episode 15 hit. And I, I still don't know what to say, really. I... The choreography in the show is amazing. It's the best choreography I've seen. And then episode 17 came. You know what happened next? Something even greater. Something that really built, it up, built up this episode. You know what happened in episode 18? Perfection. You know why? Because greatness is the closest thing to perfection. Therefore, greatness is perfection. 
Re zero. Re zero. Re zero. You know, I, I was I, I refer to Chibi a lot, and I was watching his re his review, and it's 32, 32, 33 minutes long. I've never seen someone I've never seen him talk about an anime series that that much, <laughs> that you know that consistent. I never seen him go out of his way to do uh, uh, you know videos for an anime unless it's just a review. But he did other things like the opening. He did something about that. He did like dissecting the opening symbolism stuff like that. Clu you know things you can find within the opening if you really pay attention. And he said something. He had a statement. And I was like, hmm. Really? I was like, you know what? You couldn't be you couldn't be any more right, Chibi. He said highly unlikely by the way, highly unlikely, he even stated that. No matter what happens these like next seven episodes, I will not forget what the first team the first eighteen did. And he said it'd still be one of his favorites. We have all these big time reviewers from Neverworld, Chibi, everyone. Uh, Sat, Sat, Savage Panda. He's one. He's been watching it. James Hansen. He's been watching it. Um, Glass Reflection. I, I already know what he thinks. <laughs> Even though he won't tell us. I want to hear. I can't wait to when the series does get over. That's the first thing I'm be looking for. But you know what everyone's been saying. They've been saying this is amazing. And you know what? It is amazing. It's, it's amazing to write someone this good is putting out stuff like that. I, I, I don't, I'm speechless, man. I, I'm throwing out words, but at this point, it's what reveals done is simply amazing. And at the same time, I want to, I want to say, I want to say. What do I? I don't even know what I want to say. At this point, I, I don't even know what I want to say. I'm looking at my screen, my monitor right now, and I'm just kind of like, I can't wait to rewatch that episode. <laughs> but hey, just like Ruggiero stated, let's start from zero. And Subaru states, "My life, my life, starting in a new world, begins now." So you know what that means to me? I think this journey's just begun. You know what that means to me? I think Subaru has more character development to come. You know what that means to me? I feel as if there's a lot more agonizing things to come. And if you did stay for this long, now this long, 13 minutes, I, I don't think I've made a video this long. When I when, when it's just personally me talking, you'll see some videos later on where they I have some recorded videos already for you guys. That will be this long, but I have guests on there, so. But you know what that means to me? It means everything that just happened in episode 18. <laughs> that could get reset. It means Subaru could die. So what does Subaru do if he dies? What if he di And that whole dialogue with Reem just goes away. <laughs> what happens? I want, I'm interested to, to see who stayed this long. And has a question for that. What would you think if that happens? If Subaru dies and everything that just happened in episode 18 goes away. If you said this long a video, leave that down in the comments below. Do it. I'm I want to hear what you have to say. And you know what? And I bet you really won't have anything to say. I bet you will be all struck. And well, I'm gonna end it right here. These are my thoughts on ReZero. These are my thoughts on ReZero. You know what else? Nothing else, because I'm speechless. As always, guys, be sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, at Hex25. Be sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Once again, see, I think I, I'm pretty sure I just repeated myself. I don't even know. Because when I think about ReZero, I... One word comes to mind, and that's greatness. No, two words. Perfection and greatness. Because greatness is the closest thing we have to perfection in this world. See you guys. Peace out. Follow me on Twitter at, at Hex25 once again, if I didn't say that before. As always, you guys have been Hexed. I'll see you later. Peace.